everyone, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Australia haul. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I recently came back from um, Adelaide and I did a little bit of shopping. So I thought I'd share what I purchased with you guys in today's video. Be prepared, it's going to be a long one. So have your cup of coffee or your, your nuggets or something to snack on. And yeah, it's gonna pre it's gonna be a pretty long one, but I'll try my best not to ramble on too much. I'm gonna keep the beauty stuff to last because, you know, saving the best for the last. I'm gonna start off with the clothing slash fashion items that I purchased. I didn't buy a lot of fashion-y items simply because um, over there it's winter, so the clothes are really not very wearable in Singapore because all of them are like long sleeves and everything. So, I only got two casual tops. The first one is this black colour um, cotton t-shirt with a, with a pocket on the side. And guys, guys, I went crazy at Target and Kmart and Kohl's. I went crazy at those places because everything was so affordable. It's ridiculous. So this t-shirt, I think I only paid like around 5 bucks for it, so why the hell not? The next basic tee I purchased is this um, navy blue top. It's long sleeve but it's kind of a relaxed fit so I don't think it's gonna be that hot and the material isn't hot either. So it's just a long sleeve t-shirt, navy blue with scoop neck and the buttons on the middle which are just like sewn together so you can't really open or close it. And this was only like $10. $10 and it feels very good like it's not like a cheap material on anything and I apologize for my wretched hair I don't know what to do with it so I'm sorry okay and here's one thing that you may or may not know about me and that is the fact that I love wearing pajamas so when I mention pajamas I mean like the top and bottom matchy matchy kind of thing in Singapore if I do purchase it I get it from cotton on body and if you you know go to cotton on body often you would know that it is very expensive like they are like you know their set pajamas actually can cost like $34.95 and I think that's just ridiculous to you know a price to of a price to pay for pajamas but in Target I got my pajamas set set so it's like top and bottom for $12 <laughs> what this is the top and it's a black and white v-neck navy t-shirt and the pants are just long pants with this like grey and um, navy blue stars kind of pattern and I love it. It is so, it just feels very comfortable and I like it a lot so I can't wait to wear this. And um, the other set that I got, and I got that from Target by the way, that was only $12 and these ones I also purchased from Target. This is how the top looks like. It's navy blue again with the button down and this is three quarter sleeves. And the pants are just long pants and um, they, are, they have stripes and like some floral print on it. The other two pajamas are not really like by the sets but I purchased them like individually. So the first one is this pajama top. It's a cap sleeve t-shirt with grey and grey, white and the, the back is grey but the front is like a mint and white stripes and this was also $8. The last pyjama item I bought were these long lounge pants. These striped ones were $8 and they have like a cuff at the uh, bottom. And the last clothing item I purchased were these and I use this a lot in my like when I was staying in my friend's house in Adelaide. So if you watch my Instagram stories, you will know that um, I actually purchased this because the floor was really, really cold. I don't know when I'm going to wear this because it's kind of ridiculous to wear it in Singapore considering how like humid and hot it is. But I'll definitely find a reason to wear this someday. Next up are the random items that I purchased. Okay, so when I was in Adelaide, I went to this small German town called um, Handorf and I love this town. I highly recommend this place if you are ever planning on going to Adelaide because they are very like, everything there is like handmade, they have their own like, it's not really like those, it's not like Target where everything's like, you know, made somewhere else or anything but it's really made down there and all of the shops are like, like 
the owners are the ones who are serving you, that kind of thing. So the first place I headed to is the Handoff Soap Factory, natural handmade bath and body products. So I bought some soaps for myself, my husband and also for my sisters-in-law because they love these kind of bar soaps. And just by, you know, like holding this up, I can actually smell the soaps. I forgot what flavours of the soaps I bought but um, I know that this is a watermelon scented one and it smells so freaking good like I think I can just eat it and um, they even have one that smells like very manly so that's Kairun's one and then when I walked down the road I was attracted to this candle store I was very attracted to this thing where they actually allow you to make your own candles so they have like different um, like uh, broken down wax where it's already scented so all you have to do is just pick your favorite one and just um, stack it and you can even like create designs inside your mini jar and this is mine this is how mine looks like I forgot what scents I picked out but this was $14 and I thought it was a very nice way to like a nice memorabilia for my trip to Adelaide yeah this is from the place Three Wishes Candle Barn I don't know when my vlog for my Adelaide trip is going up but just in case if it's up already I'll put it in the description box below also from the same store I purchased these um, like scented envel envelope sachets I love using these things to put in my um, wardrobe and drawers and all that kind of things because they're really really nice smelling and they smell better than mothballs so I really like this I bought four scents and I can't all of them smell really nice to me that's why I purchased them but yeah, I purchased four of this and one larger scent that smells like a real legit fragrance. Now for snacks. When you go to Australia, it's like almost a must for you to purchase these things. The first thing is of course, Tim Tams! So I got like a few, no, I got like a lot of Tim Tams because in Woolworths, which is like their equivalent of like, NTUC, actually everything is equivalent to NTUC and Giant but like they are 10 times better. Um, they had they were selling their Tim Tams for half price so it was only $1.82 and they have very very unique flavours that you can't get in Singapore. This is one of them and this is the chewy caramel flavour. This is another uh, unique one. This is the mint one which I really actually like because my sisters-in-law brought them back when they went to Perth earlier this year and I really like this a lot so I purchased this. And okay, out of the whole snack like bag that I purchased right this is one of my favorite ones and it is this you guys these are the pods so my favorite is actually the mask pods oh my god I love these things okay my favorite is the mask pods as I said just now basically what they are is like your mask chocolate or your sneakers chocolate in this biscuit bowl kind of thing so when you put it in your mouth you get the chocolate you get the, the biscuit crunch thing, it is so freaking good. Alright, so I love these things. They are super yummy. I purchased them for like souvenirs and things but I might just not want to give because I really love them. I got the mask pods, the sneakers pods and I also got the mint pods which are already open and it's in my fridge right now. <laughs> And of course, when you're in Australia, you gotta have this. This is the Wrigley's Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape. I got mine in um, strawberry flavor. I usually get grape, but you know, like I wanna try something new. And this is something very random, but I thought it was really cool. I did not know this existed, but basically in Australia, you can buy condensed milk in a tube. It looks like a like brush teeth, uh, cold paste, no, cold paste, no, like toothpaste, but it's actually condensed milk. So I purchased a tube for my mom because my mom uses condensed milk and I thought she'll just get a kick out of it because it's in a tube. <laughs> Next up, another random thing and this is the Kohl's mayonnaise. Um, this was requested to be purchased by my sister-in-law Hira because apparently she loves this thing and I actually have not tried it so I'm excited to know what's the hype all about. So Hira, this is coming for you if it has not reached you yet. Alright, so all of, all of my excitement has made my bun like go sang it but... I can't deal with it right now. So the next random item that I purchased in Adelaide, I got this from Kmart. <laughs> okay, you know, this is how you know that you are... This is how you know you are living the married life. You are literally adulting because you go overseas to buy 
bed sheets. All right, let me just tell you guys, okay? Like, bed sheets in Singapore are relatively expensive, at least to me. You, you can like get a really good one, or the good ones you can get at like a hundred plus, and then the Hey, it's either like the print is really not my style but over in Kmart we got our like bed sheets like full set like fitted sheet duvet cover uh like pillow case everything for less than $50 so I cannot like current I were just like you know what I'm just gonna buy it. we just have to go and buy two sets of these so this is one of them this is just a regular um fitted sheet Gray, uh, it's a grey fitted sheet to match with another um, bed sheet that we purchased which is uh, this one and it's actually very very nice okay if you want to talk about like thread count and everything of course it's not like the best lah but for seriously like how can you not so this is one that we got it's like a checkered blue grey and white uh, so the fitted sheet will be that grey one actually you can use white also if you want and this is my favourite, it's this um, mint chevron colour um, bed spread. It's a quilt cover, so I have to get the, I think I can even use the grey if I want to. But yeah, isn't it so pretty and all of this costs less than 50 bucks. I mean, for one set of like bed sheets. That's how, you know, like when you're made like, what, hashtag the wife life, bed sheets makes you really happy home stuff makes you very happy i don't i don't know i don't know what's what, what or, I, I i can't i just don't know and the last random item that we got from kmart in australia you wouldn't even believe that we actually brought this home but we did and it's a it's a cat bed we brought home a cat bed because we couldn't take it it was so cute look at it Look at it, look at, look at, look at it. It's so fluffy and soft. We got it for Rhea, uh, Karen's cat or family cat. And we just couldn't help ourselves. It was just so cute. And guys, this cost $12. <laughs> $12, like, I couldn't even deal with it. So what we, yeah, we, and we brought it back home su successfully and safely. And it really kept all our chocolate together and like not squished or anything. Because, you know, we just stuffed all the chocolate in here and then we closed it. <laughs> So, it go, it protected our chocolate. Last but not least is the beauty part of this haul. So, I already told myself in this trip that I was gonna like, like look out and buy a lot of makeup because there's a lot of things that I cannot get over in Singapore that I can get only in Australia. So, that's what I got. So, it's all in this bag. Yeah, so yeah, it's quite intense. This is the Target bag by the way. And um, just like to, just a note for any of you who are intending to go to Australia to for holiday or anything, and you want to buy like your makeup, right? What I noticed is that in Kmart you can get everything except for um, Chi Chi Cosmetics, which is um, I don't know, maybe that's just in Adelaide. I'm not sure if it's like that in everywhere else in Australia, but in Kmart I could get everything except for um, except for Chi Chi, and in Target I could get almost everything ish. And um, another place that I saw that had really that carried quite a fair bit of or a lot of the cosmetic brands was actually Priceline. Yeah, so these three places, and sometimes the prices between these um, stores actually vary. So if you have the luxury of time, you can go and check out each store and see which one is cheaper. Then you can go and purchase it there. Let's just jump right into my beauty haul. The first thing I got is this thing from Kmart. I think I know I purchased this from Kmart. This is a makeup blender case and I thought it was going to be very helpful for me when I travel or when I go for makeup assignments. Basically, it's just like a house for your beauty blender that has holes in it so that it doesn't like uh, it get moist, like it doesn't stay moist or it dries up as you put it inside and it doesn't like get all foggy or anything. And it's very hygienic as well and it doesn't, because now right, what I notice is every time before I go on a makeup assignment, I will put like my makeup sponges in like one section of my makeup bag or I, and I put it inside a ziplock bag and then after that I just like keep it because I'm not using it anymore for that day I don't have any other clients after that I'll just dump it in my bag and it just rolls around everywhere and I think that's kind of gross and even when I travel with a beauty blender as well I don't really have a house for it so 
this was uh, I thought it was a good buy it was a practical purchase and it was only three dollars and oh this is something that I was very excited or I'm very excited about this is the Rimmel Insta fix and go um, primer setting spray basically it's just a regular setting spray and I I know Rimmel can get you can get Rimmel in Singapore now but I don't think they have this yet so I'm very excited to try it and yeah so that's the other thing I got next I got a new foundation this is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth um, foundation so if you know Singapore already has the matte and poreless foundation this one is a dew and smooth version so I just give this a try as well to see how the texture is like Next, I got a backup for my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this is in the shade Translucent. Another Maybelline product that I really wanted to get and try is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I've had so many, like I've heard so many people talk about it and like there's like really good reviews about it and so many people have tried it except me. <laughs> so I thought that I'd go to Australia and purchase it because I know they sell it there. And I wanted to get more shades for like contouring or like for my makeup kit. But I decided not to because number one, I really do cream contouring and number two, I already have some concealers for my kit that I haven't even used yet so I didn't want to over purchase. So this is the shade that I got and this is in 20 cent. The next thing I got is from Australis and even though Singapore does has, have Australis, they don't carry this particular product. And this is the Australis Foundation Shade Adjusting Drops and this is the lightening one. And again, this is like more for my makeup kit for like doing other people's makeup. Yeah, so what, what you do with this is that, you know, if let's say you have a darker foundation but it's a right tone for a person but it's too dark for her or for yourself, actually you can just um, use a couple of these drops to lighten the foundation and hopefully it will match you. Everything else in this beauty part of this haul is from the brand Chi Chi Cosmetics and I already knew that I was going to spend a lot of my money on Chi Chi because they are an Australian brand and you can only get them on us in Australia. However, I actually already have done a, like a, a, a haul on like buying Chi Chi Cosmetics from their web store online. So you can check it out if you want to. Some of the items that are available in the store are not available online. So the ones that are not available online, I actually went to hunt for them like in the store. Okay, so the first thing I got is the Highlighting and Contouring Palette by Chi Chi Cosmetics. I forgot how much this one cost. Alright, so this one, if I'm not wrong, it's available to purchase online. But the other time when I made my order, I didn't buy this. And I thought that I'll just save it to the trip to purchase it. So basically, this is just a highlighting and contouring palette and it has all of these beautiful highlighting and contouring shades. So I got this actually for my makeup kit as well so that I don't have to bring so many products and everything is just in one palette which makes it easier for me to carry around and um, it makes my bag, makeup bag less or makeup kit less heavy as well. And all of the shades actually look really good and I'm also very excited to try them on myself as well to see the texture and all that. Um, so yeah, with regards to all of the makeup products that I mentioned in this haul, let me know if you want to see like a first impression, um, try on makeup product kind of video and I will be glad to film them for you guys. The other thing I got is the Chi Chi Viva La Diva lipstick palette in Uptown Girl. And originally, this was at $25, but I got it on sale at $15. And again, this is um, also for my makeup kit because I... Uh, I don't really like to carry a lot of lipsticks in my makeup kit. I mean, I still do but it's very heavy and very hard for me to find lipstick shades sometimes. So I decided to get this for fun because all of the shades are kind of very wearable. And I own some of the Viva La Diva lipsticks and I actually really like the formulations of them. And for this lipstick palette, it actually comes in a very, um, very obyang, obyang faux snake skin kind of packaging <laughs> sorry i i mean i knew that i was getting this when i purchased it but it looks even more cheesy in person but it's the product that counts so it looks like a diary <laughs> i cannot take it i cannot take it it looks like a diary and it's pink and you get your lipsticks in here and i think that it's packaged very nicely Oh, you can open! <laughs> I did not know that! Uh, but yay, I don't have to carry that thing around because it can be quite bulky. And, oh, shiz! 
I think someone might have swatched this already. Oh dear, no wonder it's in clearance because someone touched already. I don't know what you can see but the this shade, oops, salah. This shade, like, got people touched already. Yeah, someone touched this already. Oh man, that sucks. I didn't check also because I don't know. Damn, okay, but anyway, the rest of the palette still works and and if I'm not wrong, all of these shades are available in their bullet, uh, lipstick bullets as well. Anyway, with regards to the one that has been tampered with, I will still be using this palette for my assignments, but I will definitely use rubbing alcohol to rub, like to wipe the surface of the product first. Because it's so gross, like why would people touch it? Gosh, that's lame. Next up, I got some lip products and they I got three, no, I got four of their um, super, super matte liquid lipstick and actually my sister-in-law Dayang purchased one for me when I went, uh, when she went to Perth the other time. So I really like the formula of it and I really like how it stays on the lips so I decided to purchase a couple more. So the first one is All Swag Money. It just looks, um, it's a... It's like a, I would say it's a brown kind of lip colour. Yeah, ironically, I think it's quite similar to what I'm wearing right now. Uh, maybe it's a bit more brown and a little less purple. But anyway, I'm pretty excited for this shade. Um, the other shade I got is Hashtag Whatever. And I already have this because Dayang actually purchased it for me when she went to Perth the other time. And I really love this lip colour and... I've been using it quite a fair bit since she purchased it for me so I thought I'd get a backup because I love it so much. And if I'm not mistaken, you can't get this on their, in, um, on their online store for some reason, I don't know why. And the other one I got is for myself and this is in the shade Yas. So actually the names, I just bought it because of the name. Okay, no, I'm lying. It's also because of the colour. It's a very nice purple shade so I got that colour as well. And another... Lipstick that I purchased is not uh, from the Super Matte Liquid Lipstick line. This is the Viva La Diva Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Social Climber. And um, it's a kind of like a pinky shade. Yeah. The last two products I purchased is the Chi Chi Brow Pomade. And this is in the shade Soft Brown. I thought that this would be great um, for my makeup kit. And the last item I got is the Chi Chi Metallic Foil Eyeshadow in the shade Warm Brown. This is reminiscent of the Australis Metallics eyeshadow that I really love but it, this one is the Chi Chi version. And um, the shade itself, it's a very nice bronzy shade. I've not swatched it at all. Okay, hang on. It's called Warm Brown Dare Me actually. But it's a very nice bronzy shade and um, yeah, I think it's quite. It's going to be quite nice to put on the eyelids. I wanted to purchase more but a lot of them were actually out of stock so... Alright, so before we wrap up this video, I do have one more thing to haul and it is something that's relatively big and um, I don't know, I'm just very grateful and thankful for it. And I've been wanting to upgrade my current filming camera which is the one that I'm working with right now to something even better and something, that, uh, something new and I've been wanting this camera for a very long time and I've been like toying with the idea of getting it for a very long time as well. So um, I basically am a very, very lucky girl. I'm very, just very, very lucky because um, during the trip, Kairun, who is a tech geek, my husband, he went to find, you know, he went to like scour around um, in the, this place called JB Hi-Fi in um, Australia or in Adelaide. And he actually found the camera that I wanted and it was like at a very very reasonable price Much more reasonable than how much you can get in Singapore And it is the Sony A7 camera and this is how it looks like I was about to film with this camera actually but the battery ran out really quickly And I wasn't prepared for it so that's why I'm using my old camera um, My husband, I have the best husband in the world he actually purchased this for me as a very, 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 very advanced birthday gift. And um, yeah, because I have been telling him about this camera even before we got married. Like it was since last year that I've been thinking about getting this camera. 
But I always never get it because it's very expensive in Singapore. So he just went like a hit and you know what, you're never gonna get this kind of price in Singapore, so I'm just gonna get it. Basically, it's a monster of a camera in a really really small frame. And I can really talk about this camera over and over again because I've read so many reviews on it, I've watched so many video reviews on it and I can tell you everything I know about this camera which is actually not that much but I know like uh, most of it enough to really choose this camera instead of a Canon camera but it's gonna take a very long time so yeah this is my new Sony camera that my awesome husband bought for me and I can't even believe that he actually won, like went for it because this is like a lot of money and I'm I'm not used to it like like I can I was very speechless when he said like okay we're gonna get it I'm like huh are you serious are you really want it's okay like you don't want but he just went like all right so this video probably has been 45 minutes long or something like that but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting somehow let me know in the comment section below if you want to see a review and demo or like a first like full face first impression with all of the makeup and everything and I will gladly fil film them for you guys and another thing is you might notice that I mentioned a lot about like my, make my makeup kit and makeup assignments and that's because I finally decided to do freelance makeup it's been a long time coming a lot of people have been DMing me and like writing like I remember long long time ago some like some of you actually left comments asking me to put on makeup for you and all that but I wasn't confident um, so now I'm just taking the plunge and going for it so if you're looking for someone to apply makeup for you for an event like a DND um, engagement um, uh, bridesmaids or any any type of event you can just um, you can just contact me in my e via email or via Instagram message yeah just contact me everything is in the description box below and if I'm free and available to do your makeup on that particular date that you're looking at I will be glad to um, do it for you so that's all I have for you guys today in my incredibly long video I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!